Hey, Smart Christian family. I want to address an issue that I don't think that I really should have had to have addressed, but a couple of people said that maybe you ought to address it because you don't want that lingering or anyone who does know you to think that that's how you feel about something. I was recently asked a question concerning some things that happened at John MacArthur's church, and if it had happened to my daughters, how would I feel? Would I go to that church? Something along those lines. Would you go to Grace Community Church if Eileen Gray was your daughter? Would I go to Grace Community Church? Well, it, it, well, see, that's why you can't answer a question, because that would affect me personally. Now I've got some skin in the game. It's like the guy that jumped on my daughter or did something to violate my daughter. Um, could, 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 I, could I sit on the, on the bus right beside him? No. Could you? Yes. Why? See, what we do sometimes is we, 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 we want to make the emotional argument and then that governs. That would be hard for me. I mean, I, I, listen, I, treat my, I look at my daughters as though they're gold. Now, do I, do I look at your daughters the same way I look at my daughter? No. There's, a, there's four billion other daughters on the planet. I don't look at them the same way I look at mine. And so because of that, because now I'm, and, and, and I want you all to notice, I've never said that John MacArthur didn't, that, or the church himself or him, because ultimately he's responsible, didn't do wrong. I thought the I thought the way I answered the question was pretty clear. It was during a Q and A, and so I didn't go in depth. But I think most of the people understood. But there are some that didn't. Obviously, I didn't give a perfect answer if that were the case, and everyone would under would have understood. Those that know me know exactly how I feel, and that you should not take what I said is that I don't care about your child, your family. I only care about mine. If it happens to you, oh well. That's not how it how it is. And anyone that would say that, they obviously don't know me. Anyone that says that they know me and would think that that's what I meant, then um, I'm not going to I'm not going to be bothered with that. But I do want to know. And anyone that says that they know me and that would think that I meant that I don't care about your family or anything bad that happens to you, then they don't know me again. But my point is this. We don't want to take an argument with whatever facts that we know and turn it into an emotional argument because emotions, once they get in, then it can skew our understanding. Not that we shouldn't think about how we feel about certain things or how other folks feel. My point is this. It's just like if we say whatever our arguments are about abortion, we believe as believers that abortion is wrong, even for the baby who has nothing to do with what's happening with the mother or father and so what do people do? They'll say, well, what if your daughter was raped? What if your 12-year-old or 14-year-old daughter was raped? What they do is they bring in an emotional argument to change or to skew your feelings. So now the facts don't matter anymore. The points that you made aren't valid anymore. Now let's deal with the emotional side because some folks might say, well, if it's my daughter, I might, I might feel differently. So when someone asks me, how would I feel if something like this that happened to my daughter at the church, how would I feel? Well, I'd be bothered. Why? Because it's an emotional connection. And when I say it's an emotional connection for me, that is not to be taken for anyone else that I don't care about your issues as well. But let's be clear. We all don't feel the same about other people's children as we do ours. How do I know? Because if I told you where there were some people who have hurt some children, you probably would not go there to do something to them. That doesn't mean that you don't love people and that you don't have a concern or a heart for those people. Uh, we're not vigilantes out there. And so if I see the person on the bus, it's going to it's going to engender some emotions. If you see the person on the bus, it might not do the same thing. You might look down at the person and have an issue with the person, but not to the same degree that I do. And so I want to make this clear, abundantly clear. I don't think that I should have had to have come back to do this, but for some folks that may have misunderstood or I may have said it incorrectly. I care about anyone's child going through anything. If you know my history, you know that to be the case. And so if it happens to my child, I'm going to scream. I'm going to be bothered if anything happens to my child. If someone's child gets hurt in a car accident, that person's parent is going to scream and cry. But the rest of us don't do so because thousands of children die in accidents all the time and we're not out screaming and crying for them. Do we care? Yes, but it's not that close to home. When it's close to home, then another aspect is introduced another aspect is introduced in. That is an emotional aspect. That was my only point. Do I care about what happened to Eileen Gray and her children? 
I absolutely do. I have stated so multiple times. And so I was a bit disheartened that some people either misunderstood or just simply mischaracterized what I stated. I'm telling you for a fact for now so that everyone can know I do care about what happens to other people. But I'm also being as genuine and real as I possibly can that while you feel the way that you do, none of us are out there going out looking for other people that have had this happen to us. None of us are going around shaking the stick at all the other smaller churches where these things are happening. There's not being, we're not talking about this, about other churches. How many people have been actually hurt by the pastor themselves at these churches? And we don't make videos about them. We don't call them out. We don't do all these different things. I get that John McCarthy is a big name. I get that. And if he should be brought down and shamed for doing something wrong, well then amen. He is no better than anybody else. But if we say that he's no better than anybody else and we care about other people's daughters and sons, then why don't we do the same thing for other people's daughters and sons that go to smaller churches, churches we don't have no idea about, or at the Catholic church? Do you have to be a Christian for you to care about those children? We don't do that, do we? And that was my only point. That minimize the fact that it bothers you and hurts you, just like it hurts our heart to see what's happening with these children whose parents, their own parents, are having them have these sex change. My heart goes out, breaks for them. Am I going out to stop them? Am I going to try to stop them physically? No. Are you? No. We're not vigilantes. That doesn't mean that our heart doesn't bleed for them. Our heart doesn't cry out. We don't pray for the Lord to do something and to intervene. And so I wanted to make that abundantly clear, guys. I hope that you know my heart. I would hope that you would have anyone would have given me the benefit of the doubt Previously, no one thought that I would have said anything like that, and I didn't say anything like that. I, I think it's pretty clear most folks that, that heard it and saw it didn't think so, but a few did. And if I've given some sort of reason for there to be some sort of misunderstanding, I apologize for that. But I do not feel that your children are of less value than mine. Amen.